Don't muck around too long. We're just going to get right into the action. Let's do this. Hello and welcome to this... Whoa. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Hello and welcome to this uh, lower bracket final between Love Nest in the North playing as the Soviets. We got Mr. Jeslin, the Spanish giant, as we call him, in the south of Crossing in the Woods as Ostir. He's taken a page out of Han's strategy book. He's locked in Ostrupen and he's ready to go. Look at this. I was not expecting this. That's why I said whoa early because I was a little shocked. I thought he was going to just stick to the normal um, build order that he was doing earlier. But it looks like he's fully embraced the, po the pro Strupen strat. I'm um, really excited to see how he plays this out. He's going to go like straight three Ostrupen like Hans has been doing and two five one rush. Uh, Loveness has already locked in guard rifle as well. So they've both already committed to two commanders. Um, that's unheard of from these two. They usually wait a moment or two for the yeah. first engagements. Well, I guess they just, this is our, my strongest strategy. This is my strong strategy. We'll meet in the middle and we'll decide who's the best. <laughs> and uh, Loveness, we did see him very excellent with this sniper on this map earlier. Oh, no yeah. sniper yet. Of course, he's up against Ostrup, and so his sniper not that powerful. But he could still bust out later, especially if Jeslin busts out a heap of machine guns. Because uh, they're a real headache on this map trying to get around them. Yeah, he's also also keeping in mind that airdrop that Ostrupen has with the MG34 in the pack. The sniper would prove very efficient at decreeing support crews, so... Sniper would not be the worst choice here, but it looks like he is going for the clown car early start, which is definitely strong versus Ostrupen since they do not have access to Faust until there's a tech structure up. So that can definitely be devastating if he gets that flamethrower up as soon as possible, which is what it looks like he's going for because he capped the munitions straight away. Yep. He's already halfway there. And he's uh, just got the munitions just before Ostrupen got into the circle. Lucky timing there for Love Nest, securing the interest early. Machine gun in the back lines, picking away at the squad behind the sandbags. Oh, some more Ostrup and join from the side, but here comes the scout car. Getting right on, on the, the flank. flank. Yeah, well played. Machine gun repositions to open up on it. And Love Nest pulls away. Conservative uh, opener. Oh, switching sides now. Yeah, Love Nest made a good decision there, and he pulled back because same thing with OKW, if you don't have early access to Faust like you do with Ostrupen, like you don't have with Ostrupen here, you got to create a tactical control group of all your units and just focus it down so it doesn't rush you and split up your guys and chase things down and retreat. So that was a good decision on Jeslin and Loveness part. Uh, Loveness for disengaging and Jeslin for grouping up. Yeah, it goes for the cutoff hit and he gets it just before Ostrupen get in there. Well timed by Loveness. Now he's getting the hell out of dodge. Machine gun sitting up, doing a lot of damage there, close range. And nice. He jumps out just in case. Very nice. He can toss a satchel here. He is doing that. He cancels it because he anticipated Jeslin uh, repositioning for that. Gets the Faust in and clears the M3. I think he sent his pioneers straight back to base to put down that tech structure so yeah, he could Faust really it. Yeah, so really was, early tier two. Yeah, that was very, very um, good awareness from Jeslin. Yeah, nice adaptation to counter that scout car. That's a pretty big loss, you know, he didn't actually do that much damage with the scout car. Billy inflicted any model losses and only got one cutoff. Not the start Loveness was hoping for. No, absolutely not. I didn't get too much value from the M3 there. But fortunately for him, uh, penal battalions oh. will walk all over Ostrupen in most engagements. So he still has that going for him. He just needs to make sure that he's ready for the 251, which is being constructed right now. And Jeslin has the munitions to upgrade to the Flaming Warper. So Loveness has got to get his PTRS up, something. But honestly, I don't even think the PTRS is enough. You know, you can just kite it with the Flaming Warper and it's still a big problem. Yeah, the Flamethrower Half-Track has been probably the tail of the tournament. It's just been so powerful in every game it's been used. Yeah, it's an absolute monster. The amount of DPS that it has creates yep. that lava on the ground, fresh volcano eruption. <laughs> yep. And he can even utilize the reinforcement here outside of his base with that one Ostrupen. Doing a really good job pushing that flame squad, preventing it from getting off on that MG. Very good play there from Jeslin. 
Oh, Pioneer almost went down on retreat. He's chasing him. Three quarters complete and the upgrade. I wonder if he's just going to go to the base. There's no way, right? Yeah, Loveness well, just queued up at PTRS, but he's actually pulling back. He thinks he's going base with that retreat. And it looks like Juslin's going to pull back from that and go for the side here. And Counter House, oh man, that's a low penal squad. Yeah, that's big, big trouble here. Oh, guards coming in just in the nick of time. And that's going to repel the Flame Half Track, keeping the penals alive. Loveness really needed that. If he lost another unit there, that would be disastrous. Yeah, he's got to pull back, but unfortunately he's going to give away the entire map to Jeslin here. He's actually solidifying that strat that he committed to. I think Hans as well got double MG42. I mean, on Crossing in the Woods, MGs are extremely powerful. It lets you just lock down an open field and prevent your opponent from coming back if they do happen to push off your Ostrupen. So... This is looking really, really strong from Jeslin. Yeah, but he hasn't even branched out onto this left-hand side. He's not denying this fuel yet. He's got one squad heading over there now, but... Yeah, he took a while. Yeah, he, he did take a long while to get over there. Just shows the power of Lumnia so far. That's the fresh MG. And it's opening damage in. Three kills already, though. Wow. Very nice. Red cover does work. Enemy is attempting to steal our sector. Just barely suppresses that squad. Is out of the arc now, so he's free, free to take shots off and get unsuppressed. But unfortunately for that guard, guard squad, this Flamen Warfare will make very short work of it while it's suppressed. It's going to be ages before he gets to shoot off his PTRS. Yeah, it looks like the flame pool only maybe affecting the first uh, one or two models, so he's actually not taking too much damage there. Yeah, that was good spread for Love Nest, so it worked out for him in that situation. Um, good counter harassment uh, from Jeslin, but it was pushed off by these fresh squads rotating to the right to protect the fuel income. And his fuel income is actually very healthy. They're both tied on fuel income, so no one's really restricting the other from teching. And it looks like Jeslin just teched up. I think I heard the commander announce the battle phase upgrade. So we will be seeing a tier three. Oh, no. No. <laughs> what yeah. did I hear then? <laughs> I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sure. <laughs> Must be the lack of food. <laughs> well, Lucky seems to be doing a really good job uh, stopping the early game strength of these Ostroop and taking some really nice engagements. And this half track's been out of commission requiring repairs for such a long time now. Ooh. Oh, nice satchel there. Almost wipes the squad off. He needs to get that penal out yeah, of there. He needs it to is chase this. Super low. Oh. Oh. oh no, he just got the crit on that. It's gonna finish off that squad. What a loss. He just proc that PTRS just moments ago. Loses the squad on top of that munition investment. That is huge. And he's trying to get a favorable retreat path here on the flamers, but they are literally another pixel away from dying. Fortunately for him, it's an Ostrupen squad and their DPS on the move is atrocious. What's he doing with that penal? Oh my goodness, this is absolutely scary. Uh -oh. He goes for the fake. I don't think this is going to work. Yeah, that MG is he going to, to annihilate that. He needs to switch targets. Oh no, oh. it glitched out. What a save. What a save, but... Uh oh. Oh wait. Right in his base. Lots of screaming in the base. He sees the tier three. He knows the T70 is on its way. I can't believe he got away with that flamer squad. But he almost traded off for the guard. That guard was one man. Yeah, very close. Oh call. my gosh, Toughness this is in so crazy. Much trouble. He's in so much trouble. <laughs> Jesus, what a save, he's dude. playing out of his mind, Jeselin. My goodness. Yeah, both these players. So, yeah, saving that combat engineer, how did he do it? I don't know. We'll have to ask him after. <laughs> Playing the mind games. I mean, he did the fake out, like we said. He went around kind of showing that he's going to go through that retreat path, and Jeslin respected that, went over, but he did the double take and got out there in one piece thanks to that MG squad um, doing something there. Well, here comes this T-70. Moving on to the right-hand side. Early, early retreat by Jeslin. He was right on top of that, aware of its timing. Yeah, very good. He saw that tech structure up, assumed that it was on the way, and was able to pull out his half-track. That thing is gaining veterancy quickly. It's just such a good harassment unit. You don't 
you don't even have to stay too long. You just prop up, show that it's in the area, and your opponent has got to dip out or face losing the squad. And that was a great shot from the 270. Yeah. Looks like an attack round there just missing, but nice attempt by Jeslin. Oh, that flamer going oh hard. Oh my goodness. He hits button briefly, but oh. he's like, he's even second thoughts. That hurts. His munition income isn't too healthy, so wasting a button on that is gonna hurt. He won't have it when he needs it if there's an incoming push. And it looks like the half track is gonna be rotating to the right side to stop the fuel and VP capture. Very well played on Jeslin's counter harassment. He is doing very well. Nothing's not taking any chances, so he's been sweeping well so far. He's uh, seeing the other players playing and he knows that an early teller could spell the end for him. Yeah, tellers are something you must respect in this game. They will punish you. They will one-shot any of these light tanks every single time. So get your sweepers, stick it together with your tank, and proceed cautiously. Oh, is he using that... Oh, I was going to say, is he using that little shack there? No. But a machine it looked gun. like it for a second. Yeah, it did. <laughs> Double machine guns on the right-hand side. Wow, this mouse is a little bit out of control sometimes. Very nice triple cap set up by Jeslin. Already got Loveness down to 387. Caught up to him as well, so they're quite even there. I think it's really going to come down to if this T70 can have the impact that Loveness needs, because right now it's doing okay. Yeah. It's, it's counter harassing, like, just like the Flame Half-Track, but unfortunately, Loveness doesn't seem to have the follow-up with the units to take control of the areas he's pushing with the T-70. It looks like they're just switching off, you know, one side goes for the Half-Track, the other side T-70, and it just neutralizes. But Jeslin is actually holding on to the territory in the end. Yep. T-70 out for appears for a while, so... He's in a good position to take some map control in the meantime. And he's got the triple cap set up. Lovely's draining out really fast. Yep. Jeslin can uh, start constructing a Panzer IV in just moments here. His income is very strong. He has a tech structure up, while Loveness does not have Tier 4. So we may see an SU-76, although I don't think Loveness is going to commit that heavily into Tier 3. But you know what, actually? He, he did do he that before. To. Yeah, he did. He, he got did. You're right. SU-76 earlier, and he doesn't have the option. He doesn't have Tier 2, so no this available. He might be forced into the SU-76. You're right. It's a good unit, don't get me wrong, but making that huge fuel commitment is a little dodgy uh -oh. sometimes. Oh, no. Oh, oh lucky, lucky miss. There. Extremely lucky. And it looks like, okay, oh. imagine he misses the pack yeah. and loses the Ostrippen squad. Oh, that, that would be for a salty moment for sure. <laughs> Would that be Man, uh, a iodized game. salt? Huh? Iodized salt? Or <laughs> sea <laughs> salt? Himalayan salt? Probably a bit more sea salt. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hands for in production for Jeslin. About halfway done. And once that arrives, Lovely's gonna need a counter because one PTR squad on the guards is just not gonna do the trick. Oh, nice sweeping as well yeah, by Yeah, very nice. He only just planted that mine too. And just a reminder for those of you just joining, this is the loser's final before the grand final. This is to proceed to the grand final. It's a best of three. And these two are the absolute titans of KO2 tournament history. Um, outside of, you know, Devem, Hans, and everyone else, they have probably the most tournament matches played against each other, I think, historically. So this is for the grand finals, guys. Yeah. I still remember them playing in the uh, Dr. Vox $1,000 tournament yep. back in the day. Yep. That was a classic match. The enemy is taking our territory. Here comes the Panzer IV. Reveals itself. Forcing the combat engineers immediately. And Loveness just built a sniper. So it doesn't have the manpower quite yet to answer, but I'm suspecting it's going to be SU-76 because he doesn't have many other options. No, like you said, I think he's going to be forced in this spot to actually build the SU-76, and yeah, absolutely right there. He is actually constructing that now. After that sniper construction, I don't think um, 
there was a there was time to wait for tier four, so it's gonna be a make or break moment here for Loveness with that SU seventy six. He needs to get the value out of it and knock out a Panzer IV. I mean, that's the only way I see him being able to stabilize this game right now. SU seventy six does still have that uh, powerful barrage, same as this. So it can also inflict some anti infantry damage. Right. Which uh, you can't discount because those barrages have been so nasty all, all tournament. Oh, yeah, they're super effective, especially with these um, MG heavy builds we've been seeing from Ostrup and uh, strategies. Uh, but fortunately for the Ostrup player, I don't think the SU 76 barrage is free anymore. I remember it being free. I think it's around 25 minutes, maybe? Uh, yeah, I think it's 30. We can double check that now. 35. 35. Nice. So not free, which is good. Um, but still very helpful. Yeah, because it's the exact same as the as this barrage now. It used to be yes. different. It used to have a smaller AOE, but they got changed at the same time. The units of course were added. Identical. Which makes sense because it's the same gun. Yeah, it is. It's exactly the same gun. Good push off there with the T70. Loveness really needs to start stabilizing the VPs. He can't bleed too much because he's working on a clock right now. SU-76 misses its first shot on the Panzer IV. Does connect for the second one. Oh. Half track does get hit there by the SU-76. Almost gets killed by the barrage of uh, PTRS fire there. Fortunately for Jeslin, he does get away. SU-76, one pack shot from death. He definitely cannot afford to lose that. His manpower situation is very limited right now. He is bleeding quite a bit. He has two guards. He had three penals. Sorry, excuse me. Two penals, one guard. And they are very manpower heavy. And there are no conscripts to take advantage of merge. So he needs to be very careful with his SU-76. He's back for a oh, second SU-76 in production now for Love Nest. It's gone double up. And that's actually going to pose a lot of problems for the Panzer IV question is, can he hold off this infantry? So Yeah, it's looking a little sketchy right now for Loveness. He is definitely in dire need of killing that flame half-track, because every time he gets the space, look at that nice bundle nade, good dodge. He still takes a little bit of AoE damage there, but nonetheless a good dodge. But as I was saying, that 251 really needs to die, because when Loveness creates the space by pushing off Jeslin's infantry, that 251 is sitting in the back ready to counter it. So it, it has to die. And I think that's what the WSU-76 is for, outside of the Panzer IV, of course. It's to just one-shot volley that half-track. It has to get killed. Oh, gets a little bit too close. Takes the Faust. Gonna put that T-70 out of commission. And this one's on the other side of the map, though, so very low chance of it actually getting chased down and killed. Question is, what is Jeslin going to build next? He's got uh, enough fuel for a tank, just about enough manpower. Is there going to be another Panzer IV? Is he maybe going to go for a Stug? He could go for either one. They're both decent. I think maybe the Danga shoots might be a little bit better here instead of the P4, considering how open it is. It is crossing the woods. And the Stug is basically going to be the direct counter to the SU-76. So. It's close, but I think the SU-7, or the Stug is going to be the right call here. And it will be cheaper manpower-wise as well. Well, we'll have to wait and see on that front. Loveness, though, just ticking under 200 VPs now. He's got to get something going because he's way behind. Yeah, he's working on limited time. Doesn't look like he's going to be able to get the neutralize on the VP. He's actually losing the one he did cap um, down to 190. It's not looking good for Loveness. He needs to make something happen. What that will be, I have no idea. It, I'm, obviously, it's going to assume it's going to be with his three vehicles here. But the way he executes this push is something we'll just have to wait and see. T70 being played very, very safely, trying to avoid that Faust. He just like moved it back. He was trying to micro in other areas. He's like, okay, I'm just going to move this back. Move the chance for Faust completely while I uh, attend to other affairs. Playing it super safe. Moving both his SU 76s over here. Packers nearby as well. In trouble. SU 76 oh, no. barrage. 
P4 is oh, charging he's still in. barraging with his SCG. Oh. It actually does get the pack. This looks pretty good for oh, Lumos. What's he if doing he with this other one? SU-76, he's taking too long. He just walks up to the SU-76. That's probably not what you want to do. Uh-oh. Whoa, 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 Jesley. Uh -oh. I don't know, bro. That looks a little Let's. sketchy. Let's. Oh, he misses the kill shot. The out of control might give him another chance. Oh. It does not. <laughs> Jeslin just threw away that Panzer IV. Uh oh. And he's going to lose his flame half track. This is the execution we were just talking about. We had no idea how he's going to do it, but Jeslin just gave him a free Panzer IV and a free 251 wipe. And it was just as he came out with the second Panzer IV. He's going to have to clean up Lovnez vehicles here. Yep, recurring that pack with the engineers. Looks like T-70's gonna go down. Oh, He's no. trying to get out of the there with the pack is not in the arc, ready to fire. It is rotating now. The Panzer IV will take an additional shot here. Oh. Does connect with the T-70, and it looks like this SU-76 will go down. We've got railway artillery in the background oh, as well. This is again on the move. That is heartbreaking. Although it still shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Okay, G's in, in control now. Oof. That Panzer IV comes through and saves the day. I think Lovnes could have escaped with that second SU-76, though. He tried to keep it in there, tried to Yeah, it was a it. little bit greedy Yeah, that was part. greedy. That was very greedy. And uh, he paid the price. So despite that really good engagement earlier, Jeslin pulls it back to uh, level pegging. Yeah, he reset it. Good job. Man, that was terrifying. <laughs> he just walked up with a P4 into his face. They didn't try to go around and uh, take advantage of that assault gun um, turret. Yeah, well, I guess it's not turret. really a turret. Yeah. That's the assault <laughs> yeah, gun. The absent <laughs> of the turret. <laughs> right. Could be the his machine gun here, though. Oh, no. Oh, that's a great pickup for Loveness right on time. Because those those have been, like, camping the VPs, stopping him from uh, controlling the VPs and draining them out really quickly. Railway coming in here. Yeah, this could be clutch. I think he'll be getting away here. Unless I misjudge the... Yeah. That was a nice try from Jeslin. He was aiming for the retreat path on the stolen MG, but it just came out a little bit too late. Um, but good for him is that he still has that triple cap in place, and Loveness is draining quickly from 136 VPs. But, and if you notice here, he's committed to that Tier 3, which is the right call. Yeah. He doesn't have time. No time to tick up to Tier 4. We actually, I actually cast a game with Barton doing a very similar strategy to this against Loveness and uh, almost took him out. So it's very, very effective. Those tier 3 units can uh, definitely do the job even against higher level tier units. Oh, nice button here. No Panzer Tactician available on the Austrian Indoctrine. May result in the death of the P4, but not when it misses like that. It should get away here. Yeah, Austrian coming through for the Faust as well. Looks just, like he doesn't even care. He's like, <laughs> go ahead, mate. Hey, fast me if you want to. I'm going to oh, chill right here. But the pack. Oh, the miss. Are you kidding oh, me? Oh, my love is so lucky. Oh, oh, the scatter shot, super long range. Collects it. What was Loveness doing? He didn't back it away. I think he's fatigued, man. This is not the Loveness that we know. This is the second time he's threw away an SU 76. Yeah. It has been a long day today, but. Still, you know, you can't afford to lose that in such a dire situation. You're, you're about to be about to be drained out on VPs. Machine gun wars in the middle. Maybe he's got the right angle, but here comes Panzer IV, fresh one. Getting the job done. SU-76 in the back. Damage engine can't contribute in this fight, so mm -mm. he's having to pack up and get out of there. Going to open up the capture for Jeslin once more, and Loveness getting very close to 100 VPs. He's in big trouble. Yeah, credit to Jeslin. He just played a super long series against Hans. Several hours. He's still on point playing against Loveness right after, so he is definitely deserving of winning game one right now, for sure. Loveness does have now access to the button Isle 2 Sturmvix, and we've seen that leading to a huge territory exchange many times in the last series. So that's going to release the pressure on Loveness a little bit here. Uh-oh. E4 pushing in. Not too far, though. Another 
one's back up to full, ready for action again. Loveness though, just can't get these VPs triple oh cap. No. Oh, and the pea greens force nice away the ambush. sniper. Great work by Jeslin. Loveness just can't capture the VPs on any side of the map right now. Going for the middle again, bringing up his SU-76, but the pack is okay. right there. Great yeah. support play by Jeslin. Pack's heading over to fight the uh, T-70 though. Yeah, just out of the arc, IL-2 does come in. Loveness is looking for some space to capture and neutralize some VPs so that this bleed can stop. Yeah, Pack is taking a lot of damage from that strafe. He cannot afford to lose that. It does get cleared. SU-76 moving down the middle. Yep. Looks like it's going to eat a Faust, though. He is not looking to dodge it. I think he's just committing to, no, no. to the middle. It's the Faust, and now the P4 is charging in. Oh, no. Guards need to get it out of their position here and start buttoning something. Yep, oh, there. no. Oh, he does get an Ostrip and squad. SU-76 gets volleyed and destroyed. Other SU-76 goes down to half, and it looks like it's going to die here. Oh, that's got to be game there. Yeah, guards are in uh, hit the dirt mode. Now coming out into the action, but a little bit too late. Yeah, very late. No satchels available on that penal. He does not have the upgrade, and both P4s are going to make a clean escape. He lost. He just traded one Ostrupin for two SU-76. That's a really good trade. Yep, Lovely's very strapped for fuel as well. Won't be able to replace that SU-76 for quite some time. But at least Loveness has got the VPs under his control, so all is not lost. And he's actually managed to steal away this pack, so this he's still got he's legs. Got I mean, look at his army. It's actually slightly larger than Jeslin's right now. It's pretty funny, huh? <laughs> yeah. Jeslin is actually queuing up a third Panzer IV. It looks like he's going to either just play the waiting game, you know, have a Panzer IV on each VP to just prevent... Uh, Loveness from new, uh, stabilizing, or he's just going to go for the for the death blow. Yeah, and Loveness hasn't had time to plant any mines and spent all his munitions on that last strafing run, so he's, he, yeah, he's just uh, got no answers if he does get pushed like that. Yep. He needs to get everything back on the field. You can see on the top left there, there's a couple squads rotating to the bottom left VP. Middle one is under contestant, uh, contestion right now. He is preventing the cap there, and the Pinos will win this fight 1v1, but it looks like the P4 is about to show its face and get some shots in and hopefully drive off this Pinos squad. But Loveness is oh, smart. Oh, what? Oh. That was quite the volley. Yeah. That was pretty good. Prevents that from being neutralized and buys himself some more time. Sniper is moving around in the middle. He is backing off a bit, scared of the P4. Panzergren's looking for the flank here on the penal squad. Gets in a good position here. T70 does get hit by the Panzer IV, and it looks like it's going in. Pack 40 setting up, although it's not in the arc yet. Okay, it is It is going for the shots now. We'll definitely penetrate the uh, Panzer IV. I think, yeah. like, every time. Yeah, yeah. Guards are there, though. Oh, my God, this mouse. And, uh... <laughs> Not used to it. No, no, You're not, not, you're not the guy who works the camp. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, at least he's got triple cap now, and he's got some fuel, so he's uh, working his way back into the game. But Double Panzer IV looking like it's going for a flank in the middle. Looking for that. Loveness does spot it with his T-70 recon, retreats his sniper, and he is pulling back some of his units here. Does ne uh, neutralize the VP on the right, so Jeslin has a bit of time and work to do before he can start getting those VPs drained again. Yeah, but the threat of that flank from the Panzer Force forced Loveness completely off the field, and with only 70 VPs remaining, he can't afford that. He needs to be contesting these VPs at all times. Yeah, he spent all his manpower on reinforcing here. It does not look like we will get an SU-76 on time in this engagement. Pack 40 does get some good shots off for that P4. Pushes it back a bit. T70 having to engage with extremely low health because there just isn't enough time to pull back for repairs. He needs those engineers on the field to support in taking the VPs. Looks like the left side will not be uh, possible for Loveness to neutralize. Triple cap is winding down. Loveness VPs is down to almost 50. Almost picks up an Ostrupin squad. Not quite though, not quite. Maybe if he did, you know, Jizzle's a bit strapped for uh, squads right now. So if he does pick up one, 
It's going to stop the uh, cat pressure a little bit. Oh, it's a tentacle coming in from the side. Pack repositions. Going after the sniper, but this is that shot. Another D4 one shot from death has to retreat. But still, the triple cap remains for Jeslin. Lovnius desperately trying to come out here with the MT42, but... He needs to use his T70 secure, right? Or no, that doesn't have it anymore. No, it does. It's, it's got it. Vet 1 has got it. Oh, that's right, that's right. one. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think he can do it in time. I don't think he can neutralize the VPs in time. Yeah, it doesn't look like he'll be able to get it off in time. Jelzin does send the Pioneer here to prevent a neutralize, but this Pioneer is not going to be able to really fight back. It does get obliterated. Um, as does the MG on the right side. It looks like he's just going to get a decap there before being forced to retreat. But he might... Well, no, no, because he needs one under his control, yeah. so it looks like Jeslin has defeated Loveness in the first game of the Losers' Final. Very well played. Very solid game from Jeslin. Yeah. From start to finish, very complete play, and... Uh, very impressive considering he just went through an absolute marathon match yep and he's still looking extremely strong he's on fire Well, there we go. Loveness falling in game one to Jason with, with the Ostrup and strategy. Yep. Took a page out of Hans's book, executed it pretty much perfectly, and um, took the win. A crucial game one victory. He is this much closer to headed to the finals to face off against Talisman. We are switching sides. So, Crossing the Woods is generally an Axis favored map, I think we can yes. safely say. So,. Loveness isn't out of it yet. He's got he's got his chance to make it even. And actually, I didn't get a chance to look at the VPs, um, what the VP count is, if he really even has a shot. 321, yeah. yeah. So he has a shot, you know, if he if he completely dominates Jeslin and can get the faction selection for the ace game, he's definitely got a chance to come back at this. But Jeslin, extremely consistent. Like we said, he's been playing for like three, four hours straight right now while Loveness was on a mini break. So... And he's still playing at 100%. Out of control. He is so, out of control. Amazing stuff from Jeslin. He, he was 8th seed, and here he is in the loser's final, taking to Loveness, the previous <laughs> champion. What Amazing a Amazing stuff. So uh, I think we'll go to a short break, ladies and gentlemen. Don't go anywhere, and uh, we'll have Game 2 coming up very, very shortly.
Oh, I hope. I hope so. <laughs> so, guys, we're loading into game number two now between Jeslin and Loveness. They've just started. Yep. Loading in now. Um, to be honest with you, I hope we take it all the way to game three. I really want to see an ace game. I know it's going to extend everyone being here for a long time, but, I mean, that's what we're here for. That's what we all flew over here is to enjoy a lot of good games, and we've been getting that. I hope you guys have been joining it as, enjoying it as well. Um, yeah, game three games. Let's go, Loveness. Please take this game so we can watch the ace game and see who goes on to the finals. Yep. Sorry, I just have to reload back into yeah, the yeah, game yeah. there. Slight, <laughs> slight error. No, you're good. You're good. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Let's hope it works this time. Oh man, I'm pumped. I'm pumped for this one. <clears throat> These yeah, two dude. master tacticians, they've been going just head to head for many years throughout the entire history of Ko. Mm -hmm. And uh, Classico. Classico. Yep. You said That's it what best. I like to yeah. call it, Classico. <laughs> Classico. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're loaded in, so uh, let's get this underway. Let's do this. So here we are for game two between Jeslin and Love Nest. In the north we have Jeslin playing as Soviets and straight away dropping down his tier one tick. We got Mr. Love Nest, who is down in the south spawn with Austere, his favorite faction, uh, as he's told us many times. But in this case, he does not have Ostrupin. He is not bandwagoning the Ostrupin meta got, that we've seen this tournament. He's got Jaeger armor, man. What is this? I think it might be his 2v2 loadout. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Honestly, no, it can't be because no. we're on these custom computers, yeah, so yeah, everything's yeah. fresh. I He did have it for the recon. That's yeah. what it was for. Spotting scopes? Spotting scopes and the recon, but I think Blitzkrieg has it as well. Yes, Blitzkrieg also has the recon overflight. Here's to keep in mind, guys, that recon flight, for those of you who don't know, it's there primarily for sniper duels. Yes. If you can catch your opponent lacking during a sniper standoff, it will be revealed by the plane. Yeah, recon It won't planes. matter if you're in camel, right? No, exactly. Recon so you'll get picked off. Do, That's why it's there. Do, uh, he tried that against ta Talisman, but it didn't quite work out. Talisman managed to get his sniper back to safety, but the idea is there. It just uh, needs to come through, and Lovnis is indeed going for the sniper. Second unit out of his tech structure. However, quite interestingly, we're seeing... Jeslin go for a tier one build because he's been playing three conscripts every single time. Yeah, um, he's been keeping it consistent as we noted, uh, except in this case with the penals. Loveness with the opening sniper. I'm assuming we're just going to see a standoff here between the two snipers, you know, dancing around, utilizing cover, trying to get as close as possible. Um, Loveness, very, very, you know, efficient with his sniper use. I would put him up there with the best, you know, Dev M. Love Nest, Hans, they're all very, very strong in their sniper usage. And yeah, it looks like Jeslin's queuing up his as well. I think they knew right beforehand that this was going to come down to this. Well, he's had uh, ample opportunity to shoot this penal. Doesn't want to reveal his sniper yet. Waiting for Jeslin's to come onto the field. And like, how does he know that he's even going to get a sniper? He could just very <laughs> easily have gone just three penals. I think they just know. He's, he's got a sixth sense, doesn't he? You know, honestly... All the time I've been playing this game, when it comes to snipers, you know, there's other indirect counters to it, you know, M20 scout cars and that. But if you really want to improve as a player, and if you really want to be efficient at killing snipers, you need to build your own sniper. You need to get good at it, because that's the best way to do it. He's just leaving it up here, hoping that the sniper's going to come down the middle and he's going to get the counter snipe immediately. we we'll have to see how that works out. His grenadiers are dropping quite quickly. Trying to backpedal a little bit, trying to bait him in, but uh, not taking the bait there. But the sniper's right there for the counter snipe. Oh snipe. my god, is he gonna that get is it right here? Oh, what? Oh, shoot. Oh my god, he doesn't get it what off. What just happened? How oh, did okay. he not get it's it off? Way to oh my oh. god, <laughs> there it is. Oh man, right off the bat. Love nest. Sorry, 
Yeah, and now he's <laughs> got to run the gauntlet, getting past this pin on the retreat path. They're going to the trade. Ropes. He loses it. Oh, my God. The reset. Nice pickup from Jeslin there. Gets the re-up. Neutralizes it. Goes instantly for the rebuild there. I can't blame him. It's very, very strong versus, um, versus Grenadiers, especially on crossing. It's a sniper, sniper map, 100%. Um, what I was going to say before <laughs> before Jeslin got that trade is that Loveness is always doing these really risky, like, sneaky sniper uh, plays. He's always, like, up in their face. Yeah. And he paid the price this time. Yeah. It's a, <laughs> he had a bad retreat path there. <laughs> they both cost the same, so it is an even trade, but Loveness hasn't had the chance to rebuild it because he went for that uh, third Grenadier yep. squad. Also, interesting to note, no G43 commanders for Loveness, so it doesn't have that option to try and counter the sniper. Just going to have to do it sniper on sniper. Man, that was brutal. What a start to this match. <laughs> Always Talk chasing down the Soviet sniper and uh, no healing yet, so any health damage? Oh my god, imagine he gets that and he gets his own sniper. <laughs> They're just gonna keep rebuilding yeah. the snipers. No techs, no tanks, nothing. Just a sniper duel for 40 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? Until now, Loveness has had double fuel. Yes, so he, he is ahead. Well, oh, actually, he captured this fuel very early, but he actually didn't capture this uh, connecting territory oh. point until quite recently. So not quite double fuel for that long. Yeah, you're right. But uh, sniper's so low now. And he's not even going for medics, getting conscripts instead. He's just going to run the, the risk of it, uh, taking a stray bullet. He's going to gamble on his control being good enough that it won't even see any damage. Yeah, that was quite something. <laughs> oh, what a crazy start to this match. And Sniper heading back to his uh, predecessor's area. Looks like he might be revealed a little bit. No, he's got that timing on the on the camo like 100% down. Every time I think that he's going to slightly reveal himself, he doesn't. It's like he goes home and opens up the game and like practices like, you know, the what, exact what, counting. Yeah, like what obstacles he can move from yeah. to uh, stay in camouflage. Knows uh, every map inside and out. Knowing Love Nest and having played scrims and played 2v2s with him, I wouldn't put that past him. I think I think he's capable of putting the time in like that. Well, there's a mine right here. I don't think the sniper we're running through there will want to hug the cover, but could uh, play in a part of his it's retreat possible. path if he yep. tries to get up there. Could be relevant. Also a good counter maybe if the 2v2 hits the field to try and counter Jizzle and stuff. Jizzle and goes for tank hunter tactics. I like this. This is actually... This is Love Nest's own strategy. This is Love Nest's strategy yeah. right, with tank hunters. Yep. Tank hunters is really, really good versus Austere. Um, you have freaking volley of a dozen nades from the conscripts along mm. with PTRS, and they have that detection. The yeah. detection is very, very strong. And the, and the camo. Yeah, ca the which camo is, what you're looking at right is now. very important. They can, they can even take down medium tanks if you get the right ambush off. They're actually terrifying. If you yeah. get caught out with them, you're going to lose your tank or like light vehicle, like a 251. The volley is going to KO it. Yeah. So you got to be careful. Oh, snipers getting close to each other. Oh, he's going to get oh. him. What a snipe there. Very well done from Love Nest. No penal and retreat path this time. So he's going to get away with his sniper. Very well played. I think Jeslin was a little bit um, off there. Yeah, why, why, was it, why was it running around in the open kind of? I'm not sure. Yeah, that was a little awkward. Didn't was, think it was going to end up that way. Wasn't fully considering the uh, consequences, perhaps, there of Lovnis rebuilding snipers. Yeah, Lovnis just so good in these sniper wars. Yeah, that was the pickup he needed, even with the whole map basically being under his control. He's, he's basically going to prevent um, Jaslin from stabilizing here by counter sniping there. Very well played. He's got extremely good fuel income. There's no tier 3 coming out from Jeslin yet. So T70 has missed its rush mark. It has already passed 8 minutes. And yeah. it's looking really good for Lovnest. By, by rebuilding this penal, it has denied him to the opportunity to take up. And uh, go for that like medium timing on the T70. Yep. That, that T70, if he does go for it, it's going to be super late. Yeah, and we're looking at like 13, 14 minutes if he does it right now. Because he doesn't, he barely is getting the manpower to even put up the tech structure right now. Let alone get the 260 for the T70 plus any guys he needs to reinforce. So 
this is very favorable for Love Ness right now. Yep, just not getting bled dry. Has been cut off. And the map almost entirely red in Love Ness favor. Yeah, He's look at that. Juzzin only has one territory point <laughs> yeah, connected yeah. to his base, giving him income. It is slowed down significantly, and it is... Yeah, he's putting up his tech structure now, and he will just have enough fuel by the time it is completed. But he is giving Love Ness a lot of space, who is actually putting down his own tech structure very soon. I think he's escalated, escalating now. Yeah, he hasn't even gone for uh, Tier 2. He's going to go straight for Tier 3. So that's going to be a super fast medium tech for Love Nest. Yep. Might even hit the field at a similar timing to the T-70. Yeah, that's not what you want as a Soviet player. Get out your T-70 and there's already a Panzer IV on the field. <laughs> yeah. it's awful. Oh, Jesus going to stay in this one. We've seen him make some very impressive comebacks throughout today, so don't count him out yet. Yeah, but at this rate, Loveness will have faction selection. It's looking good for Lovenest, I will agree, but... Oh, easy dodge. Nice dodge. Nice work from Jizun. Okay, now all of these units pushing out. Machine gun uh, suppressing on the left-hand side. Oh, look at that clump up. Okay, just barely gets out of there, which is good. That could have been a lot of casualties. Yeah, Jizun on point with the rough grenade dodges here. He's pushing forwards. And he's going to get some territory, but how much? That's the question. Okay, Loveness actually moved this machine gun around to the middle. It's going to be an easy victory from there against the combat engineers. This one's branching out to the right-hand side, desperately trying to get his fuel under control. So now he's... Oh, he just did. He must have reinforced some units. Just had enough for the T-70 then, but didn't build it. Yeah, I, I don't know if he's just going to go for the SU-76 instead. That wouldn't be a good idea, I think. No, he, he needs some more anti-infantry firepower and something to threaten the chase on the sniper to try to keep it in check. There we go. He's building it now. He just yeah. forgot. He was busy macroing and everything. Um, Panzer IV is going to be available as soon as the manpower is there, which is just another 100 and, what is it, 150? So, yeah, just about. So that's less than a minute. we will be constructing that. Yeah, that TC is not going to have much time on the field unopposed. Big trouble for Jeslin. Charging in against these Grandiers, but they got the LMG. They do so much damage on approach. He tucks out the Satchel. No reaction. Okay. It's out of there. <laughs> Justin. He retreated. He probably could have dodged that, but he retreated to be safe because his reaction was a little bit slow. Be yeah. safe than sorry. Exactly. So efficient on this VP control. He knows he needs that faction selection. Yeah, he's it's gonna definitely the going for faction selection here. <laughs> kind of reminds me of the old ESL days where people run for the VPs like right at the first second of the game. Oh man, drain a few I hated off. that. <laughs> I hated that. Because you win, you're like, cool, I won, but I have I have like 200 VPs left. Yep. Before in production, 300 points left for Jason, as you can hear. He's got a little bit of manpower to spare now. Got uh, room for one more unit? No. He just reinforced a bunch here. Oh my god, that costs so much. T-70 out here, trying to force some retreats. Getting off to a pretty good start. That's a good damage. Oh, Telemine right there. Oh, he almost connected with that. Nice Telemine positioning, though. That's pretty hard to sweep in that position. But might catch... Oh, there's another one over here as well. Very Lovely. sneaky on these Telemines. Yep. Very deep. Low chance of getting swept. But if the squad... Or if the unit does try to go for a chase, likely to land on it. Locks in the Blitzkrieg Doctrine, so he can utilize that Panzer Tactician. And he just locks in the Sprint right now as well. Uh-oh. Oh no, he's gonna lose that on retreat. Looks like a looks like a KO there on that, on that Conscript Squad. He's going after the T-70 instead. He does get it, and the T-70. Oh. That is pretty much, 
pretty much the game. Yeah, I don't think he can come back from that. Those two losses, just too much to handle. And Jeslin does indeed throw in the towel. So that's 1-1. One, wow. one. Yeah. Very quick game to Loveness, showing his superiority on this map. His excellent sniper control, winning mm -hmm. those early sniper battles and uh, setting up the rest of the match. Very well played by Loveness. So Loveness there showing his excellent sniper control, taking out that game and very quickly, which both players are probably a little bit happy about because <laughs> these games have been going on a long time, fatigue yep. sitting in like crazy. I can't even imagine, like, after a couple hours now, after 4,000 hours of Company Heroes, my brain gets fried after like 3-4 hours. Yeah, yeah. I can't even imagine the amount of fatigue everyone really yeah. has been going through. like. Player wise, yeah, all the players, uh, except for Talisman, but every, everybody else. <laughs> That's true. Is, he's uh, been he's been on break a, for the yeah, whole day, yeah, yeah. except for him, except for him, except for Talisman. But yeah, those two must be feeling it. Very impressive victory there. Yep. And uh, game three. Yep. I believe the players have a five minute break, so mm -hmm. we'll go to a five minute break as well, and we'll see you very shortly for the deciding match. Who's going to be in the grand final? Coming up very shortly. Stay tuned.
pause it. So here we are for the deciding match between Jeslin and Love Nest. This is going to decide who makes it to the grand finals against Talisman. In the south, it is Jeslin, and surprise, surprise, he's playing US Forces. America. America. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Make us proud, Jeslin. Indeed. Our 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 uh, our champion Von Ivan was unable to carry the torch. We say our prayers for the fallen, <laughs> but Jeslin is back with USF, and we have Mr. Loveness Stefan in the north spawn of Crossroads as his favorite faction once again, Austria. Yes, he had faction selection, so he got to pick Austria, and uh, of course he was going to do it. Yeah, he was going to do it. Oh yeah, he loves it. Loves it to. The Every unit he loves, and he really gets the ma maximum out of all his units. His support weapon play is just so good. Oh, like like those are some weird-looking conscripts. So five <laughs> men. And what's going on here? So, so what happened here, we get, guys, is that Loveness had the faction selection. He went austere, and Jeslin counterpicked with USF. He is not going Soviets. I don't know if I've seen him play USF in GCS2 yet. I think he has played one or two, but uh, certainly hasn't been his preferred faction throughout the tournament, especially not in this uh, mm -hmm. in this finals tournament. But he does have a good USF, and we've seen Hans have some really good results with USF. So it's uh, certainly oh a sound strategy. My. That was a bad engagement. Yeah, that is horrible. Two riflemen instantly retreating from that MG. Very good arc set up by Lumnus. It's kind of awkward, but it worked. Yeah. Jeslin did manage to branch out here, capture his fuel, so at the very least he's got some fuel coming in. No munitions yet, but oh, that's such a bad start. Two yeah. rifles retreating right off the bat. Good stuff for Loveness. Terrible for Jeslin. He knows he knows the USF matchup, guys. Actually, um, if it looked like uh, Loveness was inactive before GCS2, he was not. He was playing scrims with various people, including me. I was playing USF a lot, and let me tell you, he beats me every time and like, you know, you expect him to beat me, but yeah, yeah. he beats me quick. He yeah. knows how to play against USF. Like, there's no doubt. I wonder if Jeslin has some secret lieutenant strat or something he's going to show us that is going to rock his world. He is queuing up lieutenant. Yeah, as indeed. I, wonder if, I think we'll see an M20. You think so? I think we will. I think Jeslin is going for that M20 shock factor. M20 is probably one of my most favorite units in the game. Um... But Loveness does have mobile defense. He obviously has access to the 222. Yeah, M20 is a big gamble. We have seen uh, some other players go for a fast lieutenant into a fast 50 cal, then into the A half track. It's also a pretty strong build. I think Dave did that, who unfortunately couldn't be at this tournament joining yeah. the army. But unfortunately, it's a very strong build as well. Time will tell, though. Crossing away those Flamer Pioneers. Machine gun rotating around. It's low health, but he's keeping it in the fight. Looking to do some more damage with it. Force away some squads. And Loveness getting on top of the cutoff now as well. He's just everywhere at once. Swarming Jeslin. Usually it's US forces on the yeah. offensive early, but he's getting bullied here. Yeah, this is very well played by Loveness. He's going heavy tier one. Maybe he has just a read on Jeslin's build order that he's going for. Obviously, he doesn't know yet exactly what officer is on the field, because either one could be on the field at this point. Um, he's just punishing that slow start and taking advantage of that double retreat he had early game. Rifleman almost goes down. Fortunately, he was pretty far away from the MG. It's not going to do too much damage at that range. Um, that's kind of a weird location to fight. He gets suppressed there. Maybe yeah. he was thinking the MG couldn't shoot through the shack. I'm not sure exactly what happened there, but he does get forced up, and he will get cut off. And M20, I was wrong on that. Mm. No, M20, he's, looks like he's there. going straight for the A half track, I yeah. would guess, but because he didn't make that fourth unit, no 50 cal, no fourth rifle, he's getting bullied wow. now. He's getting just muscled out. Did you see that clutch rifleman? It was literally a pixel from being decapped and cut off. Yeah. But he got on there at the last yep. second and was able to queue up the, M the M15 because of that. It is in production now. See it in the next minute or so, which is pretty good timing. Uh, yep. Loveness is at two CPs still, so quite a while away from a um, Puma, which is five. And no... Okay, he just did the battle phase. You just got to put the tech structure down. Pioneers are retreating. 
He's going to be getting out a 2 2 or a pack next because he knows that USF light vehicle is coming. Yeah, Jizlin's still in control of uh, half the map though, so despite this strong push from Loveness, Jizlin hanging on to the territory and this A half track is going to come out and do a, potentially a whole bunch of damage because Loveness doesn't have a counter to it currently. Mm -hmm. He's just got to hope for maybe a lucky Faust or perhaps some incendiary rounds, which he's activating right now. Oh wow, he knew this They're was reloading. Coming. This is going to do so much damage here, look at this. They make it Wait, to the what? heavy cover and he retreats. Did you see what just happened? No. It it reloaded twice. Oh my, really? It reloaded the incendiary, but it was like there was no ammo oh, in it to begin with. No. That was dumb. Disaster stations. <laughs> so, Damn, that sucks. Yeah, on the back of that now, Jeslin pushing right to the front. He's kind of on the wrong side of the building here. He needs to come over this side, but it's all right. Here comes a half track. And I don't think there's any telemines either, right? No. Instant evac. And he's got, is he going to oh, chase he this down? This if he chases it. This is going to go over red cover. Oh, oh he, when he gets, gets it. it. Long That's range. Huge loss. Yeah, big pick off there for Jeslin. And he's off to a strong start. 2-2-2 two, two, two in production for Loveness, but... That's a pretty good matchup still for the A half track. You really need yeah. two 2-2-2s two, 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 to contest it effectively. Yeah, the only way is if you completely outplay your opponent's half track and just circle it endlessly until it dies. But at this level, that yeah. doesn't really happen. No, that's, no. that's something you might see in a rank 3004 before. <laughs> Certainly not going to happen at this level. Oh my goodness, that grand pickup was huge. It, look, at the, look at the conversion on the map already. Yep. It's totally pulled back. Yeah, he's bringing his sweepers along, not taking any gambles here. No telemine's going to be affecting this. There's a 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Look at that damage output already. It looks oh, like he's going to lose got it. it. No. What are you doing, Love Nest? Oh, he throws away his 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Oh, no. That is just disastrous. You really, like, what? <laughs> When playing the strategy... Well you, played, Jeslin. Yeah, Jeslin, that's what you have to do with the A half track. You stand your ground because if it's on the move, the auto cannons don't fire and right. it does like a fraction of the damage. You just have to stand your ground and just let it get away and it will win. But oh. what, what you have to do as the Aussie players, you have to just play conservatively, maybe, you know, duke right. it out a little bit and then wait for the second 2 2 arrive and then just bum rush it. But, oh man... That was a bad loss for Loveness. I think at this point, he's pretty much locked into mobile defense. What do you think? Yeah, he has to. And uh, because of all the losses, he's actually quite close to five CPs. So Puma you know, should be hitting the field quite soon. Sorry to interrupt you there, but you know what I think just happened? You notice the incendiary round right there on cooldown? Yeah. I think he was setting up a bait. Yeah. I didn't realize that the MG was in the arc for the A half track in that engagement, but unfortunately it did not work. No, it's still on cooldown from that last yeah. engagement where it didn't actually fire. I think he might have misjudged the situation. Either way, it was a very good pickup by Jeslin, and he actually locked in infantry company, and he's got the M1919s on his rifleman, which is very good. Uh oh. Oh, a little oh lag there. bit of a stutter. Uh -oh. I was like, wait, he did not surrender. <laughs> yeah, no Puma way. Out on the field, guys. It is here to counter this uh, M15. A hey, half track going off here, doing some good damage. And here comes the Puma. He's got a squad oh, nearby he's got for a screening rifle tank grenade. Nice. So he can't do any more damage on the chase. Oh, wow, what the heck? What a shot. That what? Gary clumped up on the light cover. When does that ever happen? Yeah, Puma doing some great damage. Grenade! Off a grenade. Oh. Ooh. Close call. He, Very I, close. I thought he was in range for AT grenade. Doesn't quite get it off, though. Rear Sean get away with a pixel there. Um, so, yeah, mobile defense, obviously very strong. I think especially so against USF because the, the Puma is equipped to deal with anything that's in stock USF uh, availability. So that includes Shermans, Jacksons. If you play it well, you can counter everything. So if Loveness can stabilize even with that uh, Grenadier loss and the 2-2-2 two, two, two <laughs> loss, <laughs> it's always like a, a stutter on that one. Yeah. But it's possible he can come back. It yeah, really just depends on these next few engagements. Yeah, he's not that that far behind, despite how uh, how much he's lost so far. It just shows how strong of a player he is. And uh, really the strength of mobile defense as well, allowing you to kind of uh, climb back into these games mm -hmm. where you get a... Slight disadvantage early. Mm -hmm. So 
wants to push back onto his fuel, but the squad behind the heavy cover will not be moved. A half track back up to full, starting to do some damage here. He knows the Puma's over here. Doesn't have oh, to worry about it. Oh, he gets off the it. rifle nade there. Is going to slow down the Puma. But Might could lose trade the away that. That's kind of sketchy. He's lucky that the MG42 on the uh, Grenadier was They're in the middle of... reloading exactly, before they crossed the road. Before the red cover, right. Or else he could have lost that. Um, I w I'm kind of... Uh, Surprise here. I honestly thought Lovness was going to go for the double Ausstruppen call-in available to mole defense, but he elected to go for the sniper. I think that might actually be the better call since Ausstruppen are just going to be uh, capping monkeys. Yeah. I mean, the sniper is traditionally extremely strong against US forces. Yeah. And uh, we've seen some classic matches from Lovness on this very map against, I think it was uh -oh. Theodosius right. playing US forces. And we, we love to have the double snipers playing them very, very well. But uh, he did get down here for the cutoff at the very least, so Jeslin inflicting some resource damage. Love is still on the back foot. And uh, now Jeslin going for the M1 anti tank gun, so that's going to keep yep. the Puma honest. Double officer tech from Jeslin, despite the fact that he's not going for the Pershing. So that's going to delay yeah. his medium tanks by quite some time. Yeah, that's actually very surprising, you know. Um, he did pick it for the M1919s, he gets mines and everything, but there's no Pershing. No. So there is no uber late game for the USF faction in this game. He just has a priest, I mean, you're not going to be building a priest. It's yes. way too expensive <laughs> for 1v1. Yeah. Um, so this is giving Loveness some room in terms of the long game. Um, yeah, well he does get the impact right now off the officer, extra right. squad on the field, so that's a big thing, but yeah, delaying his medium tanks could be a problem. And uh, Jeslin played that really cautiously when he snared the Puma. I honestly thought he was going to try to get some hits in with the A half track, but he elected to just play it safely and wait for the AT gun, which connects a very nice long range hit there. He needs to back off. He cannot afford to lose this Puma right now. And this rifleman is creeped up on the. There we go. He's getting out of there. Back in the good old days of double oh 1919s, that would have been dead. Look at this, he's just charging with his entire army onto the cutoff. And it's working like a treat. Forcing oh, away man. squads on the side as well. He's sitting up shop on this cutoff. He will not be moved and he can put down sandbags as well, thanks to his commander. That was really well played by Jeslin using this terrain to his advantage to creep up his units and take control of the cutoff. And... I mean, he's just looking to deny that command tank because he knows that's going to be the next thing coming out of Loveness Arsenal in terms of vehicles. So any time he can save by cutting him off is just going to make it much better for Jeslin when it comes to kicking up to Major and getting a oh. tank. Oh, easy nice dodge. Attempt. Yeah, good dodge. Switch on to the other side of the cover though, and that allows the machine gun to get the suppression in, so that's going to have to retreat eventually. And the sniper is getting some uh, good kills up to VIP 1 now, 8 kills. Yeah, if you can stabilize his Oscar and not lose the sniper, that thing is going to do so much work for you against USF. So, Lovness just needs to get the bleed under control and stabilize. He's getting that pack. He needs to kill that uh, M15, and he knows that since there's an AT gun now, now with riflemen that can uh, snare him, he cannot really dive it. So, AT gun is the next logical choice. Yes, indeed. Lovney's right up against it. He's going for the VP as well because he knows he doesn't want to be suffering a triple cab and drain out before he gives himself a chance to get back into the game. So he's relieving the VP pressure, trying to push back onto his cutoff. He's having some good success too. Yeah. Puma's there, but because the AT gun's right there as well, he can't really bring it in. He's going to give it a shot. Nice. Got lucky there on the long range. And misses the shot in return. Bad luck, good luck. Yeah, exactly. Little code two. That's how it goes. Oh, we got some artillery coming. Time on target. Time this on target. That was an expensive drop yeah. from an MG that can just pack up and retreat. You know, I understand when there's a, a push incoming and everything, but yeah. look like a little panic, uh, waste usage, wasteful usage of that ability. Pretty expensive. You could have planted what is that? Six mines with that? Yeah. Well, I mean, mines do take a long time to plant. So, That's but true. I mean, he could tick grenades and maybe start spamming some grenades, honestly. He's got quite a lot of fuel. Maybe he just wants to uh, 
Go straight for his medium tech now, though. Chasing down this sniper. He's backpedaling, but he's just running in there. Yeah, he doesn't care about that grenadier. He knows he's got him outnumbered. Three to one. Bullying him off the field here. We need to get that gun? sniper out of there. This is at half health. Yeah, bring it over now. Is brutal. There we go. He's backpedaling. Major out on the field has revealed itself. Does have an M4 Sherman in production. Um, Lumnus is actually a couple fuel away from the command tank, but it's not going to be able to go toe to toe with the M4. He's getting pushed back into his base again. We'll connect with the MG though, so he might be able to hold this push off here if he's able to set up in time. Yeah, he's since in there's no indirect fire from uh, Jeslin. Honestly, I thought he was going to also build a M M21 mortar half track. That is super strong because that has phosphorus and everything, but I guess he doesn't need it. So Jeslin knows there's a command tech on the field. He can see the aura popping up on the Austria units. Half track's got to pop out here. The trend oh, blows with the shot guns. Off. Okay, good. He's going around. He's going for the attack round. No, never mind. Freaked out there. Command tech coming out. It's done to do some damage. Lovely's continually trying to force his way out onto the left hand side because he's off there. He needs these support weapons. Yep. And switching from side to side is very challenging with his faction because those support weapons take so long to move around the map. Yeah, Alsir is the epitome of the combined arms um, design of Company of Heroes. And exactly what Tyrope said, it's very difficult to rotate like that when you are behind because it will take forever for everyone to come up and support each other. So he's kind of boxed into the middle on the left here. Sherman makes its appearance with his HE shells activated. Um, fortunately for these Grands, they are taking less damage because of the Panzer IV command tank. But it's still no excuse to stay alone for this much. Oh, that could have been bad. Yeah, that could have been a cover. wipe there. There was a lucky break for Loveness escaping there. Nice, oh, nice. Man. Picks off. Yeah, very good. He's going to force it off for a moment there to reinforce because he does not want to get that decrewed. Yeah, he's got the uh, VIT 2 now, so he can see all the way to the edge of his firing range, which is uh, really handy. And Rifleman there taking sniper shots. Needs to be careful when he's moving his tank around that, because it will push the sniper possibly into a spot. You do not want it in, like, right there. It pushed it a little bit towards the Rifleman. You do not want that, especially when your sniper is injured like that. Yeah, one, uh, one LNG burst could uh, see the end of that mm -hmm. sniper. Air Ray, looks like Major dropped uh, some recon. It's going to do one pass through here. Going to give some vision, potentially let Jezza know where the Puma is because he has not seen it for a minute here. Okay, isn't that getting repaired? Now yeah, it was getting repaired. Combat. Jezlin, all his troops are reinforced, ready for one more push. And it looks like he's going to go straight down the center again. Needs his AT gun here, though, and that's uh, still also the back lines. The, yeah. Oh, but can he get the AT grenade off? Enemy forces are securing our territory. He's trying for it. Pretty close. Good. He forced the sniper off, took some damage on that. Yep. Headed back to base to heal. Um, Jeslin's still putting on that triple cap pressure. I think uh, Lovness just got one neutralized, so he was still bleeding during that time. Uh, Jeslin is just pulling away with this game right now. Yeah, this is kind of like the US forces of old, having a strong early game and just continuing up the pressure throughout the match. Oh my god, he's chasing it down with the bazookas. Oh wow, almost connects that. Whew. Oh, he's going for the super long scatter shot. Yeah, that command tag no longer can buff itself, so... It will die normally just like any other pa uh -oh, Panzer IV. Oh, sniper's right uh -oh, there. Uh -oh. He's going... No Teller Mines pack is not ready yet on that side. It is rotating now. Only one Pioneer available to repair, and he is limited on time. And he's right outside the arc of that Pad 40. That was perfect. Yeah, well placed. Uh, I don't think he knows it's there, but he's dodging it anyway. You'll see it now in just a moment with that Rifleman. Now there's the, uh, Sherman coming in. The snowball faction in effect. Strong early game into multiple Shermans is a great way to close out a game versus Austria. Lovely. Perhaps uh, we're of this going for a second pack right now, so... Might bring these Shermans around the packs is going to be tricky. Nice attack round duel there from both players, although Jezen was still on HE, so that AOE did not do too much damage. Just keeps pushing on so many angles, and these M1919s doing a great job against the LNG Grenadiers. 
Yeah, he's he definitely made a good call on that. Look at this. It's even on the lieutenant who's got a bar and yeah. a Thompson too. So yeah. he's loaded with Uncle Sam weaponry. <laughs> Indeed he is. He tried to come down this side, but machine gun's there. He's close enough for an artillery strike. There's going to be time on target. Takes oh, a long that's a very good time location. to land. But Everything has he's not up moving. Here. Oh, get out of there! Very late movement. Oh, oh my god! Just in the nick of time. That was sketchy. Yeah, that takes so long to come down. Only just avoided it too. Oh, love nest. Oh, he's making us sweat. Yeah, this is. Dude, Jeslin is playing out of his mind. Double packs right He's going here. in for it. Uh -oh. Sniper in jeopardy as well. He needs to pop his smoke. Oh, wow, one. he got that. With the Oh my gosh, what an tank. engagement. Where is the Puma? He's in the smoke. There it is, I can't, it's in the corner. Nobody using the top ground in that smoke there. It could come out either way. Sherman panicking, does not want to commit the engagement. Tiger weak point. Doesn't. Get it off though. Oh, look at this. Double packs. He's dropping the smoke behind it. He also cleared the. Oh, oh main my gun destroyed. God. The Puma is going in for the kill. Is okay, he, he though? Stop for a second. No, I, I don't think he, he hesitated. Oh, is he though? I think uh, you have to. There's no way you don't go for it, but this it's could too late. still go down to the A half track. Yeah. Its auto cannon does do quite a lot oh, of damage. Oh, he's going around the deep he's end. Going he's going right. smart. He knows the riflemen are coming up to support. Oh, it's right there on the base he's door. He's gonna get it if he does not miss here. He gets oh it! Oh my god! What a huge turn of events. He did not lose a single vehicle there, nor a pack. He cleared both Shermans and the M... Uh, what is it? The, the AT gun. Okay, is he actually going to lose the half-track too? Oh my Are god! Are you kidding me? He loses the half-track! Oh, I can't believe this. Loveness coming right back into this. Jeslin throwing away so many units there. And Loveness playing what? that so well. Oh my, what is he doing with this rifle the squad? Out of there. And oh the grenadier. Oh my god. I'm losing my mind right now, dude. What are these guys up to? Loveness, I mean, Jeslin still has a lot of units, but... He's got a strong tactical control group here. He is moving towards the VP. I think now he's going to triple, quadruple down oh. on the VP bleed because... He He's knows that there's still some time left because Loveness has to repair his uh, yeah. vehicles, but... He really wants to say T-Gun oh back, though. God, he, he needs it back. Blow it up. He's trying to come in from multiple angles, Loveness trying to flank this machine this gun. A minute ago. Yeah, he could have. Uh -oh, uh -oh. oh, he's oh, taking it down frontally. Oh so many LMGs. God. Goes down almost instantly. He's going to recrew this. Where's that sniper at? Gun. Oh! He Sniper picks off the squad. Did he? No, no, no. It got away. I oh, think. Okay. I think. I'm not sure. No, no. It did, that get, was away. Close. It did get away. I think he got oh, the... Oh, he got the sniper right there. Wow. And it just goes down. Oh, my God. And just what like that, Jizzlin back on? in the game. This is ridiculous. But loving his super long VPs, he's got to get right on top he's of that. He's going to go for the Ostrupen Colin. I'm calling it here. He needs that. He does. He needs, he needs the to capping monkeys shield. to go to the bottom and yep. the middle. He needs the meat shield. He needs them to recrew this team weapon. He's almost Does cost uh, 425 though. 25 manpower away now. Oh my god, what a crazy match. Get on the VP. What are you doing? Yeah, on why that are you trying point? to. Yeah, who cares about resources, man? Oh, he's on the attack map uh, uh, grind. He's just like right clicking shift cap. He's letting this guy get on the point. Denying. Okay, okay. Yeah, Grease Gun. Not Whew. gonna do the job. Oh, he's not going for the Ostrupen. Really? Loveness. He's please. going for another sniper? Bro, it's going to take oh, way too long no. for it to come out on the field. you got to call in the units. Yeah, he needs the Ostrup and do the capping, oh, as Mo no. said. Look at this. A little major right here. He's like, <laughs> I, I got this, guys. It's under control. I got my, my uh, M1911 Colt, whatever. Yeah, he pistol. popped off the uh, recon planes there. Getting the lay of the land. Wants to see where he can assault. Try to outmaneuver this machine gun. I can't believe this. He is going, Jizzlin doubling could, down on the sniper. Yeah, Jizzlin could just go no more vehicles now because lovely has got two packs occupying his army. Mm -hmm. If he just goes full on infantry, what what's lovely has got to counter it? Yeah, I don't know. I'm speechless right now. I mean, he's still doing a good job fighting back right now because Jizzlin is definitely desperate to get that VP bleed accelerated after losing all his vehicles. Yeah. That was very clip worthy. I, I don't even know how he didn't kill the command tank. I think they just panicked because there was multiple things going on. Yeah, and the smoke. It, it just stayed in the smoke for so long and no attack grounds from Jeslin. Clearly fatigue getting him to, to him in uh, that scenario. 
because he's been pretty good with the attack ground throughout this tournament. Oh, he's going to go for the house crush here. Oh, the AT gun actually shoots the house, accelerating the uh, potential collapse here. I think he's just going to outright try to blow it up. But you know, with the sniper, I was thinking about it again. And Loveness is going for the play to win mindset instead of playing not to lose. Yes. So with the Ostrupin, he's trying not to get uh, triple cap, right? But they're not going to win in the long run with their engagements against the USF infantry. So he's going for the sniper in the hopes that his guys will be there fast enough to get on the BP. And it looks like this AT gun is going to be decrewed. Yep. Just Left deep. side, MG is being deleted once again. Yeah, that's how just many too many there. LMGs. Jeez. It's just too many. One machine gun, not enough to stop this many LMGs coming at you frontally. He's trying He's got to an idle squad on the right side there, Love Ness. He needs to get on the BP right now. Is that major artillery coming down? Oh, time on target over here as well. Yeah, Jeslin's going for the jugular right here. He traded away his vehicle crew to recruit that AT gun, and he's coming in for the flank with snares and bazookas. Yep. Loveness sees that, and he's going all the way around. Uh -oh. oh, no, he still takes a shot here. This Clears looks it like out. a dead. This, okay. Good can... smoke. D does he get the AT grenade off? He doesn't. No, the smoke reset it. One bazooka connects. Jackson is out, though. The Jackson is out on the field. Oh, he is definitely going to go down. for the chase down there. He's backing it into the corner. Loveness is capping the territory points. He's got a pack right here with target weak point as well. So it's not undefended. Oh, and he's making use of the breakthrough, or counterattack rather, to try and get those territory yeah, points very going very there. quickly. Oh, oh super long range. range. Fortunately for him, he's not too far away from recalling another one, but that is most definitely a setback. Loses the captain on retreat. That is not something you want to be losing as USF this late into the game when you're trying to deplete your opponent's VPs because USF bleed late game is very backbreaking. Crazy high casualties so far in this match. These two players are just going all out on the aggression. I need to decrude this pack over here with the lieutenant. Jackson's trying to attack ground. Rounds. Jackson's already so low. Uh oh, oh my one, gosh. two punch. This Puma is most definitely going to chase this down. Gets around behind the building. Needs one more shot to connect. Can He's the Puma do it? For it? Oh, he gets it. He will get the out of control shot and a rifle nade into it. He might be able to pick this up. I don't think so. The road is going to let him get away. Oh, no bazookas. And the VPs are neutralized right now. Oh my god, this match is just so insane. These oh, guys the are command tank hits the field as well. Jeslin is very close to being able to build another tank, um, but this is going to give Love Nest time to stabilize. What a freaking game. This, this is, is crazy, man. All out aggression. This is the power of mobile defense. It is the ultimate comeback, Commander. Oh my gosh, look at this desperation from Jeslin. All his squads are so low. Yeah, didn't recruit this AT oh, gun either. Oh, he lost the major. He's on death's door. 26 supply left to Love Nest 65. Dude, Imagine why if he, did he didn't go lose that Jackson. Company. Imagine he had Pershing this time. At this time. Well, g come on, man. You can't. You can't be like that because he had such a big lead. I know. And then he I just know, like ran them into those packs. <sighs> this was uh, some very strong play from Lovelace as well. You can't take it away from him. No, because most definitely. This has been such a huge tug of war between the players. Look at him, just stuck in base. <laughs> Did you just give up or? Yeah, maybe they're having some words. Maybe they're just like shaking hands right yeah, now or something. Could be. Could be uh, having some, you know, we can't, we can't see the chat if the players are chatting. So yeah, that could be the case. They're upstairs right now. Yeah. The, uh, some uh, kind words. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> He's going for the memes. Shotgun Priest and actually ends up in engine damage. But, uh... <laughs> it's so funny, man. Yeah, and with that, I think uh, the match is wow. over, though. We'll watch this to the end until someone surrenders. What a crazy match this has been, Dude, man. This has been... This, 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 this is very game. suitable for some North American casters to be casting because <laughs> this is a very North American style game. <laughs> Just all out aggression with no care for the consequences. Lots of throws. Yeah, lots of throws from both oh players. Oh my gosh. Insane match. Who, knowed we, who knew we would get an NA loser finals yeah. between two Europeans? And there we go. Jeslin throws in the towel. So Loveness will be carrying on to the wow. grand finale what against a weird ending. Talisman. Yep. Crazy match and... Uh, 
Amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. What a what discipline from Love Nest. I mean, he didn't throw in the towel when it was looking bad. Like that engagement with the double Shermans uh, rushing in towards his base. I would have oh, almost thrown in the towel. I'm like, yeah, all right, you got it. Yeah, man. yeah, You're gonna yeah. kill my stuff. You, you got it. Good luck in the future games. But he just held on, and it worked out in his favor. Yeah. And he clenched it. It was uh, with 50 VPs. Yeah. What a crazy, crazy, <laughs> crazy match. Oh my god. Yeah. So, I thought it was over, man. Yeah, me I was too. like, all right, Jeslin, uh, Talisman Finals. Let's do this. Mm. Oh man. Well, uh, that'll do it for myself and Mo. AE and Stormus will be casting the finals. So thank you very much for watching and uh, putting up with us. Thank you, guys. We'll be uh, having a break now, and then uh, we'll be getting to the grand finale. So don't go anywhere. There might be an interview as well. Mm -hmm. but uh, Probably, most yeah, definitely. Stay tuned for that. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, Jizzle needs to... We need him on the microphone. We need to hear what that man has to say because <sighs> he played out of his skin this tournament. Really Dude, good stuff. He played like six hours straight. He had like two hour long games versus um, Hans. <laughs> then he played um, Love Nest, right? Yeah, yeah. And these haven't been short games. No, that these second like been game 30, was a 40, super long one. Each. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm impressed. Even, you know. From eighth seed. Eighth seed. Yeah, eighth right. seed. Yeah. Right. He was listed as the uh, least likely to win. Yep. <laughs> so anything can happen. But yeah, thank you so much, guys. And. Uh, We'll be back with the finals not too long.